My name comes up in an investigation um, as a possible spy. And it, it lands on, on Leo's desk, and and um, he's running the, this investigation on me. He finds things, he sees things that is not, that could be, it could make me um, be something that he's afraid that I would be. You know, he could, you know, he sees me with another teacher, and I'm laughing, and I'm quite different. And, you know, and his jealousy kicks in, and he finds, like, something that could be an evidence. But he decides to kind of stick with me and to believe in me. Um, I think she, at, some, at one point on this journey, when they leave on the train from Moscow to Volsk, she decides to not lie, to not pretend anymore. It's always just like, okay, I'd rather die than kind of living this lie anymore. And that's like a starting point for, for her to, to, to kind of rediscover, to, to find herself, but also to, to start to see Leo and who he really is. And they start to get to know each other for the first time. I felt that this, especially on this one, it felt that I needed to, to run it through myself and to, to really go deep into it and to, to fully understand this person. Because the danger when you do um, a period drama is that it becomes distance, that it's, it, does, it doesn't have anything to do with us, with people today. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the way they dress, that's the way, yeah, the, the, the problems they had, that's back then, and then we, we can't relate to it. So I kind of felt... Um, a desperate need to, 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 to find myself in her and to really let Raisa be a part of me and to grow into her. So even though there is this, like, it's a big kind of epic movie um, and we have, you know, action scenes and, and we have this whole kind of um, uh, thriller element, it's, for me it's very much a love story but kind of reversed because they start as two strangers and then they get to know each other and actually fall in love. And it's also very beautiful to see two people getting to know each other and accepting each other and forgiving whatever happened before and, and start something new. So for me, it's not, it's not a dark movie. It's, it's not depressing at all. Um, it's, it's, it's a powerful love story and life story. Daniel knows what he wants. He's very specific and very clear. But... He loves actors and he loves what we will bring to the table. And, and kind of, you know, when we start to talk about a scene, um, and first thing, you know, when we get in and, and sometimes, you know, I say, you know, I was thinking, what if we would do it this way? And, or, or Tom comes in and is like, you know what, actually, can we, you know, try this? And Daniel is always, you know, thinking about it. It's like, well, yes, perfect, yeah, let's try that. But he's, he's open and he's very, he's very much a team player. But he's, but still a strong leader.